Hello ArcGIS users. Welcome to another webisode of How to ArcGIS. I'm Ryan with First District and today we're going to talk about where to find aerial photography out there on the web. This uh, aerial photography we're going to be talking about is provided at no charge by various entities and we'll discuss where to go and the best way to add that into your projects. My ArcMap project shows uh, city of Flandreau. We uh, created this project because we were doing an updated trail and sidewalk plan for them. The project is fairly basic. It shows road center lines, city limits, and also the sidewalks that I digitized. What we're going to do now is add some aerial photography. There are a few different places you can go to get aerial photos for your uh, county or community. The first place we're going to talk about is the one meter aerial photography from Farm Services Agency. All of these uh, countywide mosaics are available from the South Dakota Geologic Survey website. The web address is www.sdgs.usd.edu. Uh, as we go into the South Dakota Geologic Survey website, what we're going to be looking for is the link to the digital base data, which is right here. Once we click here and scroll down a little bit, we can see all the different data that SDGS hosts for the state of South Dakota. The one that we're going to be looking for is the NAIP imagery right here. As you can see, there are several years worth of aerial photos that Farm Services Agency has done and provided to the state for use, but we're going to be most concerned with the 2010 photography. As you click on the 2010 photography link, uh, you'll scroll down and see a map of the state of South Dakota. All you have to do to download your county is click on it. For example, uh, since we're in Moody County, we just click on the, the Moody County on the map, and it is going to open up uh, the download for moody2010.zip. From here, you'll save this file and extract it because it's a zip file. And from there, you just add it into your ArcGIS project. I am not going to download this to save time, but what I will do is go back to my ArcGIS project and add it using the Add Data button. Uh, it looks like a little black cross uh, over a white sheet of paper. Just click on this and navigate to where you have your imagery. I keep mine fairly organized. Uh, mine images are always going to the C colon work GIS images folder. Inside this folder I have it split out even farther and we'll go into the FSA data and add the Moody 2010 SID. As we add that, you'll see that it will show up in the table of contents and it will display in our map view. Uh, this data is flown every few years by Farm Services. One meter resolution, which means it's good when you're looking at a community as a whole or, or a county. Uh, anytime you start getting inside of a quarter section, it starts to get grainy. But this is good photography, uh, fairly current, and it doesn't cost you anything. The next uh, photography that I'd like to talk about is the Bing Aerial Photography. Uh, Bing is one of Microsoft's uh, sub companies or what have you, and they also provide aerial photography. We have a link to download the Bing Aerial Photography layer at our website, which is at www.firstdistrict.org slash GIS. You can't see the underbar here, but there is an underbar training.html. If you mouse over it, you'll see it show up as a pop-up, or as I click on this link, you'll see it up here uh, in the URL. And this is our website that shows our videos. Under additional resources, you can see the Bing Maps area layer fly file. And I will download this. We'll just click the download button. I'll go to save file. And this is going to download 
into my download folder. Uh, from here, you can just right click on this and choose Open Containing Folder. And here is our Bing Maps Arial zip file. What I'm going to do is cut this out of here and go back to where I store my imagery, which is C colon work GIS images. And we'll paste it right in here. Once you have your zip file down, you're not done. You're going to need to right click on this and go to extract all. And once you do that, click the extract button. And as you can see, this has created a new folder called Bing Maps Arial. Uh, we'll double click in here, and here is the layer file. And once we have that extracted, we can utilize the Add Data button and add it into our project. Uh, sometimes you'll get this, it's trying to transform uh, the data, and it will do that on the fly just to close this and the Bing Maps Arial will be added. One thing to note, the Bing Maps Arial photo dot L Y R is a layer fire what or is a layer layer file which doesn't store that imagery on your computer. It's just a link to it. So if you don't have internet access, you're not going to be able to use the Bing Maps Arial. However, one of the pros of using Bing Maps over the one meter aerial photography is in a lot of cases the imagery is of better quality. Uh, what we're going to do here is a quick comparison between Bing Maps aerial photos and the one meter FSA. Uh, my PC is currently drawing the Bing Maps aerial photography in right now and as you see if you were paying attention the clarity of the photography on Bing is a lot better than the Moody 2010 SID. I'm going to shut the Bing Maps off and now I'll turn it on again. And you can see that the clarity is a lot better. One of the reasons for this is because pictometry has a partnership with Bing Maps and as counties and communities get their uh, areas flown with pictometry that information generally gets filtered into the Bing Maps. And that works out pretty well. If a county doesn't want to provide their new aerial photography to a community or someone else and you want to go see it, the best place to go look for it is on Bing Maps. It's provided at no cost. There is another place that you can go to download the Bing Maps aerial photography and that is from the ArcGIS help and we'll navigate to that website as well. Uh, the ArcGIS Resource Center, this is a great place to go if you're looking for help and how to view it. And this will talk about all sorts of stuff like using Bing Maps for example. Uh, once you travel to this website you can scroll partly down the page and the Bing Maps aerial layer is right here. Um, if we click on this, we can see that the Bing Maps aerial.lyr is here as well. So you can get it from this site or you can get it from the firstdistrict.org site. The last and easiest place to get aerial photography is to go up and click on the Add Data button but there is a little arrow just to the right of it. If you click this, you can scroll down to Add Base Map and we'll click on this. And what you'll find when this loads is that you can get the Bing Maps Arial right here. So you'd, you don't even need to navigate anywhere to find the Bing Maps Arial. But if you want to go out and find that layer file and store it, the best thing to do is to go out and download it and put it on your machine. But you can download Bing Maps Aerial right here. There's also hybrids, road center lines, canvas. There's a lot of different things that you can use as a base map. But what we're talking about right now is aerial photography. So I'll stick with that for now. If we add this, we'll wind up seeing the same thing that we have on already.
which is right down here. here it is. That pretty much sums up how to go out and find aerial photography for your county or community. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to contact me at ryan at firstdistrict.org. Watch for more videos in the future. Thanks a lot.